Okay, so kind of a different video today. Um, just kind of going over uh, something I see on the groups maybe sometimes and figure it'll help somebody. Um, but basically this lightning pickup has a boost reference fuel system. Um, it comes with that from factory. Um, but what it didn't have from factory is an adjustable fuel pressure regulator. So what I did is I swapped to the 1997 rails and then also put this, uh, I believe it's an AccuFab um, fuel pressure regulator right here. And so basically what that regulator does is, as every regulator does, it um, guarantees that what in the pressure inside the fuel rail remains at 50 pounds, or whatever your base fuel pressure is. That's what, what's a, that's what they mean when they say base fuel pressure. So um, when the truck has no, when the pumps are on and it's just running and there's no um, vacuum being applied to it or boost being applied to it through the reference port that's this this tube right here that goes to that port when there is no adjustment because of that its base pressure should be 50 pounds so <laughs> but the way a boost reference fuel system works is as the supercharger makes positive boost pressure it actually feeds that boost through, through these lines, it feeds this boost back into the regulator so that it can up the pressure in the lines to compensate for that. Because basically if you had 10 pounds of boost pushing back up the injector, the way the fuel comes out, you know, pushing up the other way, it would make the injectors deliver less fuel basically. So it basically uses the boost reference to offset either boost or vacuum. So um, when your tuner says set the base pressure to 50 PSI or whatever that number is, all you do is unplug this vacuum port right here and, and plug it with something so that you don't have a vacuum leak. And then basically it will go at that point to your base fuel pressure. You can have the truck running when you do this. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate that really quick and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so <clears throat> just to kind of demonstrate, um, right now it should be reading like 40 something pounds because it has the vacuum on it from this hose. So I'm going to unplug this hose and there now it would have jumped back to base fuel pressure. So um, basically when I'm doing this, I usually plug the hose with like a little screw like this. I'll just shove that in the end right here so there now our vacuum leak is plugged and then what you do is you take an allen wrench and a wrench and you undo the lock nut first and then you can turn this and so right turning it tighter jumps the pressure and loosening it lowers the pressure so I'm gonna demo that here quick for you doing the jam nut you want to hold the top line or the top actual adjustment screw straight so this would be a drop in pressure and this would be a jump in pressure but I'm gonna lock it back down where it was so I, I locked my screw and jam nut down again. So I'm just quick gonna pull my little screw that I was plugging my vacuum line with and put this put this back here. Put my this is my boost reference line. So and ultimately where that's coming from is right here. That's the boost reference port that's underneath the blower, and that's where basically it gets a boost source. That's where that is. So if I can actually make some boost here, it's going to put boost through here and on top of here and bump the bump the uh, fuel pressure. So we'll just try it here real quick with a quick rev. 
One quick point of clarification then is that that fuel pressure regulator is a one-to-one boost reference. And what that means is that for every one pound of boost that is in the basically the downstream, um, the turkey pan, the intake manifold, we'll call it, um, every one pound of boost that's there, it bumps the fuel pressure by one, every two by two, every three by three, and so on. So if you're running, you know, 15 pounds of boost at wide open throttle and your base fuel pressure is 50 pounds, you take 50 plus 15, six, you should be seeing 65 pounds. And I don't care where your fuel pressure regulator is, as long as it's basically measuring rail pressure, that's what you want. And they're a really nice tool. You can have them, some people have them under the hood. I just happen to have one in my pod gauge um, or in my pod uh, setup. But either is fine and either works just as good. So anyway, that's kind of how you set that up.